Okay. Joe Terranova got a little angry with me earlier. Now I got to make him feel a little better. Never. We'll talk about Chipotle, Joe. Okay, we'll do it. All time high today. They cry. I don't know. Does it get any better than this? What this company just delivered? Come on. You know me 15 years. You've never seen me angry. I love you. I'm not angry with <laughs> yeah, you. All right. Chipotle. Chipotle. Oh, listen. That was, Jim Crane is so right, that was such a phenomenal quarter. Scott Brian Nickel is executing on the existing model for the company. He's introducing digital innovation. Customers are embracing it. They have pricing power. And guess what? The analyst community still, still doesn't believe the story. The average price target on this stock is only 2% higher. I got into this stock because we put it into the Quality Momentum Index. Uh, that was the reasoning behind it. I studied this company and it was so amazing to me, not just the growth that's represented by this company, but the quality side of it, the balance sheet. Scott, this company basically has zero debt. Where can you find in a universe where you're looking for 20% growth, a company that has that type of uh, quality profile? So I'm staying with the name. Uh, just an absolutely stunning quarter. I'll borrow Jim's words. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I listened to Jim this morning, too talk about it you know you pick your superlative i mean it was a absolutely fabulous quarter doc great management they're hiring tons of people kramer was talking mm -hmm. about it today the menu's exciting i mean if you're looking for a restaurant related stock yep. is this the one to buy and i ask you that too doc with with the caveat of it's at an all-time high yeah well scott i'd say uh, um you look at Chipotle, you look at uh, um, Red Robin Gourmet Burger, which has actually outperformed Chipotle over the past uh, couple years. Um, yeah, pull that one up and take a look. Pull up uh, Jack, J-A-C-K. Um, right now, an awful lot of money is uh, people are upgrading what they buy, whether it's fast casual or fast food, Scott. That's just a fact. You'll hear it echoed from everybody from um, McDonald's to, like I say, uh, yum brands. People are upgrading because they've got a little bit extra cha-ching in their pockets from the stimulus money. And I certainly hope that continues and I hope uh, that these stocks continue on this path. But like I say, I think Joe made a fabulous trade on this one. I think the, the worst trade here was McDonald's when they spun it out, um, you know, during their uh, troubles a few years ago because Chipotle has been a fabulous trade, you know, with the only exception being, of course, when they had the tainted lettuce or whatever it was. Um, this thing has just been on a tear. Uh, but fast casual as well as fast food um, have really benefited from what's been going on with uh, tossing money out uh, to perfect strangers, Scott.